I am the Miami Psychic Detective. I was gifted with the ability to communicate with guardian angels at a very young age. Throughout my 30 year law enforcement career with the City of Miami Police Department, these angels provided me with clues in solving the most complex cases. Now, I am taking my expertise to the private sector. I'm Gino, a private investigator. I was a little surprised when I got called in to solve a murder investigation. The resort manager has brought in Joel, the new investor who started making big changes around. Then, three weeks in, he was found dead. The police ruled it as a drowning, but the general manager didn't think so. Gino, how are you? How are you? Thank Very you good. for coming to the resort. This is the resort I was telling you about. Yes, sir. Well, well, take me and let's, I guess, sit down and you can tell me about uh, your concerns in the case. So the police ruled this a drowning. Joel's family and yourself does not think that this was a drowning. They think it was a homicide. Why do you think this was a, a murder? Oh, I agree. I don't think it's a drowning. I believe it's a murder. Couple reasons. First of all, they found him in basketball shorts. He was an Olympic swimmer from the Dominican Republic. He came in here making changes. Maverick, the bartender, said he had an argument the other evening. I believe he was arguing with Daniel, our electrician. Is Daniel here today? Daniel's not here today. Today is his one day off that he has for the week. How about Maverick? Is Maverick here? Here is Maverick outside. Uh, that is Maverick, our Wait, bartender. Well, I, I'm going to interview Maverick, if that's okay, if you can introduce me to him. But if you can get me the personnel file on Daniel to start with while I'm here, I would appreciate that. So I'll, I'll walk out there. That door, wrap around. Thank you. Maverick. I'm Gino, a private investigator. Nice to meet you. What's with the scarf in Miami? I'm trying to close the generation gap. You mind oh. if I have a moment of your time? I'm on the clock, sure. sure. Have a seat. So Frank told me that a lot of uh, employees here are, are nervous. He mentioned investors that are coming in, and he kind of mentioned you, that you observed a little argument between Daniel and Joel, one of the investors. I, I didn't see anything, man. I, I really don't want to get involved. I'm just a bartender. What we talk about is going to be confidential. Tell me a little bit about this argument that they had. Um, well, I did see uh, Joel and Danny arguing. You know, it got pretty heated at times. Hours before they found Joel's body. Prior to him showing up dead, yes. And did uh, Daniel tell you anything? He, uh, he left a black duffel bag with me and told me to dispose of it. Do you have this bag? I still have it. I never got rid of it. Can you bring it to me? I, I can grab it for you. Appreciate that. Thank this you. This can't get back to Danny. What we do is confidential. This is the bag he brought you? This is the bag. The wire looks pretty new. There's plastic on it, but they said he's an electrician, right? Okay, Maverick, uh, you're going to see me around the hotel quite often. I'm going to be talking to the other employees, so I'd appreciate it if our conversations stay confidential. Okay. I certainly appreciate your time, Maverick. Come to the bar. I'll be there. So this is uh, Daniel's personnel file? Yes, that's his personnel file. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be coming here quite often. I'm going to be talking to all the employees. I'm going to look through all the personnel files. Um, what is this? It says uh, size. We are changing all the uniforms of the employees of the resort. Okay. Okay, so I see here it has the employee date, has all this information, Daniel's home address. All right, well, I'm going to take this file and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to look at the other ones. And if anything, I'll be in touch with you. I'm going to be in touch with this, uh, Joel's family and I'll let you know if anything develops. Nothing seems suspicious, just an electrician bag. Why did he ask Maverick to keep an eye on it? I couldn't figure out what was happening. I needed help from above. The beach is the perfect place for spiritual experiences. I decided to go down to the water and call upon my guardian angel. Amanda, Amanda. Hello, Gino. Open your mind. 
and see the truth. Despite your claims in this case, size does matter. Underneath the sun's hot fire, a tight rope walker defies the wire. Balancing skillfully, higher and higher. Gino, you must not forget the wire. You must solve the case and prevent the victim's lingering soul from falling to the depths of eternal fire. Gino, open your mind and see. Allow yourself to connect. Just open your mind and see. Just see. See it. I was able to channel a vision. All of the sudden, it was clear as day, and it all made sense. Hey, Danny. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, how are you? Good, man, good. Hey, listen, man, uh, there's, there's a lot of changes happening, as you know, and we're letting a lot of people go. Unfortunately, you're one of them. What? The problem is that, dude, we, right now we're just cutting our losses. We, we cannot have the expenses that we have right now. You haven't seen my work, man. I'm one of the best guys you got here. No, actually, you're not. You're not, Danny, you're not. Your work actually sucks. And we have to keep our best people here. Bro, I've been doing this for 12 years. I'm a master electrician. Don't talk to me about quality. We'll give you five hours. That's the best we can do for you. And Bro, you got five seconds to get the fuck away from me. I'm Whatever, sorry. bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're fucking dead, bro. <laughs> I'll show you. Good seeing you, and my you. condolences truly about your uh, brother. Thank you. I wanted to share some information with you on how we were able to link things together and have them open the case again to make an arrest. We were able to prove that Daniel strangled your brother, left him with a little bit of life, dragging him to the water to where he was able to swallow water to make it look like a drowning. Me and my family were very curious because we knew that this couldn't have been a drowning. It was impossible for him to drown. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me and my family. We really appreciate it. Gino, I cannot thank you enough for solving that case. I knew from the start it wasn't a drowning. You know, when we took this case, we never promised you a rose garden, but we came pretty close to it. My investors and everyone here is just so happy. Parks here, expectations. I appreciate that, and I'm just glad that we can get to the bottom of this. I'd like to invite you to lunch with Joel's family will be here. I'd love for you to join us. I would appreciate that very much. Let's go. While my belly was empty, my heart was full.